All right, guys, today is a big day. We're going out here to Baser, Kansas, about 40 minutes from where I'm at to buy my first skid steer. And uh, I've wanted one for a long time, but I had to find the right deal, get the right money, obviously. And it's gonna need some work, but we're gonna get her done, check it out, and uh, it sounds like it's supposed to be just a fuel issue. So if that's the case, we'll be, we'll be all right. Keep you updated. So good news, guys. Uh, talk to the people who've been running the machine. Said it ran not too long ago. Just came to where it was really hard to start, and so they kind of parked it, but gotten some new parts. It's obviously going to need some paint and uh, things like that, but that's to be expected with an old machine.
All right, guys, good morning. You have to forgive the chickens and roosters in the background because they are going to be loud this morning. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning, and uh, yesterday we got the bobcat going. had a drive motor on the right side that I thought was a problem. I completely took that apart and put brand new seals in it, and it ended up not being the problem. Uh, I had a clogged cl uh, drain case filter right on the valve block on a... Uh, main like inch and a half hose and it's behind that so i had to do a ton of research to find that but it's completely clogged with some old seals from a cylinder that had failed so all that's been replaced and cleaned out uh, then this morning i just went through the final touches as you saw and uh, cleaned it up put all the new decals on it and uh, just tried to do some of the small final stuff so I think at this point we're done for a while. There's a couple other things I want to do. I bought new gauges that are all installed, but some of them don't seem to be getting the information on the uh, temperature. And uh, so I want to get the temperature and fuel gauge hammered out because those are important and I don't want to uh, get it overheated or be working and mess up a really good engine. So at the end of the day, I think it all looks pretty good. You guys be the judge of that. I put some walk around video, but I'll turn around and let you guys see it again. Alright guys, you'll have to let me know what you think about everything in the comments. I want you to uh, put down there what you think I could have done differently or if there was something that you did differently that worked out better. Throughout this process, it was a big undertaking, but I'm a young guy, don't have a ton of money, so to get a nice machine like this, I was really more worried about the mechanics and uh, I can do all the hard work. So it took about three, three weeks, maybe a month of just doing it and working on it when I could, but uh, that's the best thing I could. I'd really appreciate if you guys go down and like and subscribe on this video and I'll be putting up new content on the different projects I come across and some of the day-to-day -day things that I get to go out and do. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.